nine ninety nine a month for these type of movies, these type of TV shows, and everything involved. Right. <laughs> What is up, ladies and gentlemen, YouTube, that's right, I'm Chris Smith. Today, I'm going to be talking about Dance Camp, the movie that you should not be paying $9.99 a month for, but here's the basic plot. So, basic plot is this, about this kid named Hunter, he kind of does his part at the very beginning, he kind of gets in trouble because there's some underage drinking going involved, and therefore, he has to do community service because he takes the blame for 100 hours at a dance camp. Why a dance camp? I don't know, but apparently, that needed to be in the script. Now, the problem with this movie is that it's not very original. It's a lot of cliches, a lot of predictability things, you know, the kid that's kind of like a rebel of sorts, goes to this place, he doesn't really like, starts to like this place, then he starts to like this girl, he kind of helps the kids kind of beat a bully, and then he kind of likes this place again, but there it is. Uh, that's the basic plot, as cliche as you can possibly get. Now, granted, some things that actually work in here, I enjoyed having a black guy as a lead, because uh, we don't get it many times, and I did enjoy that, right, for the most part. The problem is, he is not really a good actor, and that goes for most of these people in this thing. Him, the chick Megan, I know people are a fan of hers, because I was reading comments on the thing, people were like, hey, she's great. No, not really, she's probably the most blandest person in this thing. Her acting is shit, is shit. That's about it, all you can really say. Now, some things that I did kind of like in here was the pacing. I thought the pacing actually did kind of move pretty well, and it didn't, you know, make me want to put a bullet in my skull, because it's only an hour and 23 minutes, so that worked. Also, some other things is that even though the dancing is nice, it's not necessarily a innovative dance move type thing. Some better dance things I have actually seen is, like, uh, you know, the Chris Brown dance movie, even though it's not great, and uh, Go For It with Gina Rodriguez. I thought those were good. Now, this thing is a pretty much a mix of, like, Camp Rock, The Game Bully, American Pie, Band Camp, and, you know, Step Up. It's all those things meshed together, and it doesn't really come off as original at all. The dance scenes are just kind of bland, and that's kind of it. This thing comes off more as a Disney Channel movie, and granted, if it was a Disney Channel movie, I think I'd rather feel a bit more on the ease, and I could probably, like, see the negatives and just, like, wipe them away because it's a Disney Channel movie. It has a specific uh, demographic. I don't know who's the demographic supposed to be. Uh, the final dance battle is kind of cool, you know, with the, you know, the paint or whatever. I thought that was actually kind of good. There's a beatboxer girl in here, which makes no sense at a dance camp. Now, there's this dance fight between Lance, right? And he's supposed to be the big jock on campus. The problem is, I can't take him serious because, one, he's supposed to be the big jock on a dance campus. A dance campus. Not only that, he does his dance fight with Hunter, right? The main guy. Puts his finger on his mouth. I'm like, that is the weirdest thing you can possibly ever do. Also, the guy, Hunter, is really not that likable at all. He leaves this crew, right? He leaves the team because the girl kind of shuts him down and he doesn't get any ass. What a baby. And then we're supposed to kind of like root for this guy. Eventually, and some things that also don't work is they try to do the YouTube. They add in YouTube and the hashtags uh, and text on the screen. You know, with somebody like texting, like hashtag this. That just got constantly annoying. The problem with this movie is that it's not really an original thought to it. You've seen these characters so many times. It's cliche. You know exactly where this is going before you even start. Also, another thing is that the character of Hunter starts off kind of like a nice kid, and you kind of think that maybe he's kind of like a nerd that just wants to kind of get popular, and he kind of gets whipped into this party mess at the very beginning. But then he kind of comes across as like a rebel by the time he gets to the dance camp. It's just like, that didn't make any sense. There was also another time where he kind of, this is nitpicking a bit, where he kind of just like wears headphones, and it doesn't even seem like he's claiming shit. He doesn't even do anything. He's wearing headphones for no reason. Uh, and I guess it's supposed to be a rebel, but, you know, it doesn't really work. Like I said, the two leads, they don't have any chemistry at all, uh, really. And the dance scenes are just kind of bland and basic. That's just kind of the whole thing. Now, if this was a uh, Disney Channel movie, I think I probably would uh, forgive it a little bit. But unfortunately, it's not, uh, and that's kind of what hurts it. Now, look, this movie ain't going to win any awards. It's not going to really be anything. Is it entertaining? Sure, depending on who you are, if you're a fan of some of these people. Uh, Lily Pons, which is, a, I guess, a Vian star, she's in here, she doesn't know what she's doing, and I don't know what she's doing, Bruno from Dance with the Stars, he's also in here, they're doing nothing, the, pr the problem with this movie is, it's, it's just bland, it's basic, it's in, it's nothing new, um, $9.99 a month, get the fuck out of here with that bullshit, um, just, say, I'm sure you can find it somewhere online, somewhere, and just do that, because that'll save you $9.99 a month, uh, that'd be much better, but, uh, that's my review, comment, subscribe, and like, subscribe if you actually enjoyed this review, and if you actually disliked it, tell me actually why you hated this review, if you did disagree, uh, but yes, comment, subscribe, and like, I'm Christmas, I'm signing